What's up guys and welcome to the CIS Weekly Report. In August 2016, Muhammad and six other CIS students attended a Model United Nation MUN, event in New York City. The experience was inspirational for all of them. How long did you prepare for this event? This um, to be honest, I prepared for about 10 days before the MUN. But I didn't really do much preparing over the summer because I had my other things to do, such as my extended essay and my IAs. How did you feel during this MUN? Um, it was nerve-wracking. Um, I got to speak in the in a UN conference room, which was a pretty good experience, and um, that really shattered my nerves. But then, I've, in the end, I gained some confidence about uh, talking and speaking to many people. At when once. did you attend this MUN? I attended it in the second week of August, actually before one week before school started. And uh, we uh, and we came back. I think two days late. To school. Uh, did others say yeah? In September 2016, Sam Suspi visited Pathways World School in Mumbai. So, how long did you prepare for this event? I prepared like from from a month before, cause this was my first MUN, and I didn't know how it's gonna be. And I searched up. I did a lot of research, though I only spoke twice. Did other CIS students participate? Yeah, there were like four more people who took part in this. One of them was Aman Mujib, Afridi, and Shady Fateh. We had a lot of fun. So, congratulations from all CIS on your amazing performance. Did you know the CIS student represented India in Rome, Italy in August? Reporter Nicholas will tell us more the champion of Taekwondo in India. I could have some couple questions of his personal achievements. Here are the questions I asked and here is his answer. He told me that a good fighter move in diagonal and punches at the same time for you. He said he trained for us for six for one month, but he needed five more months uh, of more training. He, he said he was pretty stressed because there was people way better than him, so he, he didn't know what to do and he was a bit stressed. He played the, the 11th of September in Rome. He was he was exciting and nice game. It's been open all, for almost a month now. Chatting with Ram to learn more about Cafe Coffee Day experience at CIS. We have five questions to the kids about Cafe Coffee Day, and this is what they said. So the first question. How do the students treat Coffee Cafe Day workers? The students responded, and, this, the, and they said they treat them okay, but they can treat them better. Question number two. Did the Coffee Cafe Day have any problems? Yes, the long is too long, and there's not enough food to last the whole day. About how many Coffee Cafe Day achieve per day? They are us. 100,000 rupees is our guest guess. Best guess. What do students teach us by most? Noodles is the food that they buy most. <laughs> do you think Cafe Cafe Day is a good addition to the CIS school? Yes. <laughs> yes. But it's a good idea if they could add more. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle's introduction. Michelle had a lead role in the play called The Rabbit Hole that occurred on September the 24th, 2017 on the CIS campus. This, this first CIS student theater production took place on Saturday afternoon in the drama room. An audience of 50 parents, teachers, and students attended the show. The play takes its uh, honest look in a in loss and grief following the, following the journey of a family work, working through the aftermath of a tragic accident. What, uh, what skills did you showcase? Um, the skills that I showcased were acting and uh, to put out all my emotions and stuff like that. Mostly basically raw acting and also the use of my speech and voice and everything. In October, CIS hosted a basketball tournament for secondary boys and girls. Five teams for boys and five teams for girls attend this tournament on a beautiful Saturday morning. So, lots was happening at CIS with the SEA pool party and lots of good things for sale. Oh yes, on the same day, SATs were also held for some lucky students. So, how did our CIS teams do? Well, each team played four matches and... So, girls basketball. The first place was won by Vidya Nikitan International School. The second place was won by us, 
CIS, yes we rule. The third play was won by TISB, the International School Bangalore. The boys, BIS came first, so Bangalore International School. Second place, Vidya Nikitan School. Third place came CIS. CIS has more basketball results from our first away competitions of the year at BIS in September. So, senior girls basketball took third place, lost two and one against BIS. Luna and Sarah led the team with lots of baskets. It was a great teamwork by all for an early, for an early in the year match. In junior boys soccer, we won two matches to reach the final and lost the final, so CIS earned second place. In the best match, we, we beat BIS in the semi-final, so we were playing against a team which was better than us, but we managed to beat them 3-1. I was playing fourth. CIS took part on a swim meet in Saturday 24th September at TISB, the International School Bangalore. Ten schools participated and results are mentioned. So, we won four gold, five silver and five and fifteen bronze. Well done. So, out of the four gold, three gold was a new me record by Raiz. He's exit swimming. He also won the individual champion for his category U16. He participated in an open event U18 and below 100 meters freestyle. He won the second place, lost by many seconds. Overall, we came third place. So TISBA our swim team came first. Second came Indus International School, and third place came us CIS. Red scored 327 points, yellow scored 397 points, blue scored 463 points, and green scored 485.